The uh, rate is now 0 decimal 67, and um, the range is 110 meters. Copy. And um, the rates are down to zero decimal. The progress now within 100 meters of docking, everything continuing to go by the book. A good view right up the barrel of the aft port of the Zvezda service module. You can see uh, the Corps' automated uh, rendezvous system uh, compensating for a precise alignment uh, to the docking target that is just below the docking port itself. And uh, the um, range, as per the table. Copy. And it's uh, 70 meters at this time. The ducking interface is within one square. Currently closing at a rate of four tenths of a meter per second at the time of contact and capture. The progress uh, will ease into port uh, at a rate of about one tenth of a meter per second. Good stable image, 67 meters range, 0.37 range rate. The crosshairs are aligned, and everything looks good. Copy. Thrusters firing to uh, dampen the rate, 0.2 for range rate, standing by for antenna retraction, copy. And the target is stable and visible, 0.22 for inch rate. Actually, it's um, gone down to decimal 1.7. The visiting vehicle officer in mission control reports that the uh, Progress's core's uh, antenna has uh, retracted as planned at a distance of about 45 meters. Actually, we sent the command. We're standing by for the International Space Station and the Progress are now currently traveling 216 statute miles over the border of southern Russia and northern Kazakhstan. And the the uh, Progress docking mechanism now powered up. Everything in readiness uh, for the arrival of the latest cargo ship through automated uh, commanding for its docking coming up uh, just a few minutes from now. Meters, oh, we're standing by for back out on the plus X axis, just in case. Copy on, I'm ready. Range right now is has changed about 47 meters, or that's what it's showing. Um, but um, based from the, um, you can see uh, the crosshair docking target uh, coming into alignment uh, with the crosshairs on the external engineering camera on the progress vehicle itself. Just above that is uh, the docking port at the aft end of the Zvezda service module. Right now, to the uh, docking interface, or two squares. 
Copy two squares are 32 meters. And I'm ready to send command. Operation and then plus X. Copy. And that's done. Very good. Everything's nominal. And uh, Sasha, can you tell me what your assessment is of the range? Okay. And uh, assessment is in progress at this time. About 27 meters. 27 meters separating the Progress 39 cargo craft and the International Space Station, now closing at a rate of just over one-tenth of a meter per second. The Progress and the station are soon to cross uh, the border uh, between eastern Kazakhstan and western Mongolia. And crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Everything's nominal. Range rate visually corresponds to the same as shown, about decimal one four, decimal one five. The range now is about 21 meters. Copy. Nineteen meters for range at this time. Copy. And could you give us that in squares as well? Yeah, target is one, one square, which is 19 meters. We copy one square or 19 meters. 17 meters. Docking interface is at three and a half. Copy. And uh, we're coming up on the docking interface, and uh, the crosshairs are aligned. It kind of ranges a little bit uh, pitch-wise, but no more than one square off. Copy. And do you have a good vi visual on the crosshairs? Yes, I have very good visual on the crosshairs, and the range is 10 meters. Copy. Just 10 meters separating the two craft. All of this uh, continuing uh, to go by the book through an automated approach of the Progress 39 cargo craft. And uh, from the electronic uh, view, it's about an um, eighth of a square. Copy. And the range rate uh, is about 0.13 to 0.14. We copy. Sasha. Seven and a half meters. Moving toward the envelope of the uh, docking target itself, seven meters uh, separating the progress from its port. Range is seven meters. We copy seven meters. And um, I can confirm that the range rate is about zero decimal eleven. Good steady approach of about one tenth of a meter per second. Crosshairs are aligned, everything is nominal. And uh, the uh, overlays and uh, crosshairs are basically matched up. The crosshairs are at the center. Two and a half squares. And uh, range rate is um, about zero decimal one. We copy. Just a handful of meters separating the progress from Zvezda, standing by for contact and capture. Zero decimal one for range rate. Copy. Standing by for contact. Everything is nominal. One meter. Sasha, yes, and we confirm Moscow. And we have contact. Docking confirmed. Copy, and we see contact and capture. Congratulations. Docking occurring at 6.58 a.m. Central Time, right on the money over Mongolia at an altitude of 216 statute miles.
a textbook approach and rendezvous for the Progress 39 cargo craft delivering two and a half tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 24 crew. And as we receive confirmation now that the hooks on the Progress side of the docking interface have closed, uh, you're looking at uh, a replay being provided uh, from truss cameras on the International Space Station uh, as the Progress 39 closed uh, the final few meters uh, separating it from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. You see the large Lyra dish-shaped antenna uh, at the very bottom of your screen. That is the uh, high data rate transmission uh, antenna for uh, telemetry from the Zvezda service module that was launched back on July 2000 as uh, the centerpiece of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Again, this is a replay of the final approach of the Progress 39 a few minutes ago for its link up at 6.58 a.m. Central Time as uh, the Progress and the station flew 216 statute miles above Mongolia. In the last uh, couple of minutes, uh, we have received confirmation that the hooks on the Progress side of the docking interface have closed and we're standing by for a similar confirmation uh, for the hooks having closed on the Zvezda side of the docking interface. Once that's complete, uh, the crew on board the International Space Station will begin about 90 minutes worth of leak checks. That will be followed by the opening of the hatch to the Progress cargo craft and the start of the unloading of the two and a half tons of food, fuel, and supplies on board the complex that will take most of the rest of this coming week. Sending uh, the command to deactivate the VHF to backup transmitter. Copy. Once again, uh, this is a replay as uh, the Progress 39 cargo craft uh, traverses the final few meters uh, for its docking that occurred 10 minutes ago to the aft port of the Zvezda service module, a good view of the Progress, its thrusters firing under automated control of its onboard computers as it eased into the aft port of Zvezda, carrying two and a half tons of food, fuel, and supplies. And uh, sending uh, Toru mode deactivation command. Copy. Commander, we don't know. Command sent. So, Norman. Everything is fine. And there was the moment of docking uh, that occurred again uh, at 6.58 a.m. Central Time about 11 minutes ago over Mongolia as uh, the Progress 39 became the fourth Russian vehicle at the International Space Station joining the 37 Progress vehicle that is at the Piers docking compartment and will remain there until October 26th and two Soyuz crew vehicles for the six crew members on board the station the Soyuz TMA-18 that is docked to the Poisk module at the space-facing side of the Zvezda. That will remain uh, there until uh, September 23rd, another week and a half. Uh, that vehicle uh, to bring Alexander Skvortsov, Mikhail Kornienko, and Tracy Caldwell Dyson home after five and a half months on the complex. The other Soyuz vehicle, the TMA-19, that is docked uh, to the Rosviet module at the space-facing side uh, of the Zarya module, uh, will remain there uh, until November 30th, when it will bring home uh, Soyuz Commander Fyodor Yurchikin. At uh, that time, Station Commander Doug Wheelock and Shannon Walker uh, November 30th is their targeted landing date uh, following their five and a half months on the International Space Station.